Hello and welcome to the first episode of the Flavorful Summer of Steam 2021. Today we're going to be learning about the science of vaccines using a cherry pH indicator. First off, let's look at the materials and ingredients you will need. You will need lemon juice, baking soda, some cherries, a couple of plates, a syringe or a spoon, some water, and a knife. Now let's get started. My little brother Neo is going to be helping us today. The first step is to carefully remove the cherry pits. Here we used a butter knife, but be careful and make sure you have adult supervision. Also beware of spraying cherry juice. Your next step is to add warm water to the cherries. This will allow the juice from the cherries to go into the water, creating a pink liquid. You can then swoosh this bowl around in order to mix it. Next up, thanks to the power of vaccines, I was able to recruit my grandparents to help. Now lay out three of your plates. Our first step is going to be to pour the juice into three plates. Try and put an even amount into each plate, so that they're about the same color. Each of the plates will represent a different situation, which I'll get to more later. Before we start mixing our ingredients, let's go over what we're doing. So first, we're going to have something to represent the virus, and in this case, it's going to be the baking soda. Next up, to represent our vaccine, we are going to be using lemon juice and each plate will represent a different patient. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to vaccinate one of our patients. We'll leave patient number one and number two unvaccinated, but we'll inject patient three with a vaccine and turn them vaccinated. Now let's get started with our demonstration. Start by adding the lemon juice or vaccine to a cup. Then do the same thing with the baking soda virus. Next, you're going to inject lemon juice onto one of the plates by adding it with the syringe. Watch as the color changes. The color change represents immunity building up inside your body. Next up, we're going to infect patient number one and patient number three and watch what happens. To do this, we pour the baking soda virus onto plate one and plate three. Watch as with plate one, it turns green. On plate three, however, something else happens. Instead of turning green, it bubbles up. Now let's go over how our demonstration and how vaccines work. In our demonstration, we had three patients and we vaccinated patient number three. In this situation, the color change in patient three reflects immunity being built up against the virus. This means that when the baking soda comes in, instead of infecting the patient like in patient one, it simply creates a small reaction that then is resolved. Just as vaccines help our bodies deal with infections, in this case, the lemon juice helps prevent the baking soda from being able to change the color in the plate. For more specific information about how bases, acids, and pH indicators work, check out this video on screen now or in the description below. But we'll briefly discuss this interaction here as well. What you're seeing is the baking soda base react with the lemon juice acid to create a neutralization reaction where bubbles are formed. As the lemon juice cancels out the baking soda, it prevents the color change from happening in our cherry juice. Similarly, when we talk about vaccines, the virus and the vaccine will interact. This means that if you are vaccinated, the virus will have a harder time making you sick. This can be really important to not only help keep you healthy, but help keep others around you healthy as well. This is why it's so important to get vaccinated if you can. Now that we've explored how this vaccine experiment works, you can see what other combinations of adding lemon juice and baking soda do to your cherry indicator. What will turn the cherry indicator green? And what will turn it more red? And how do you create the bubble reaction? Thank you so much for watching today's video. This is the first episode of the Flavorful Summer of Steam 2021. The Flavorful Summer of Steam is a partnership between Flavorful Science and Sci-Files. 
and was made possible thanks to funding and support by Rising Youth Canada. Be sure to stay tuned for the rest of our Summer of Steam videos. Thanks for watching!